This year, the Canadian government's theme for Black History Month is February and Forever. An organization that embodies that is the Canadian Black Scientist Network, a growing group that recently captured the Prime Minister's attention. A group of academics came together and realized that there were so few uh, Black people in STEM that we were aware of that we needed to organize on a national level to try to understand why that was. Launched in July 2020, the Canadian Black Scientist Network looked at data, finding that at a young age, the education system stereotypes Black students. In Canada, there is a problem with Black youth being excluded from academic streams. Their teachers and guidance counselors in many cases were actually discouraging them from doing that. The coalition, made up of black professionals and students in STEM and allies, strives for inclusion with hopes of addressing structural discrimination and oppression, building a network to elevate and a culture of belonging. There are a lot of us and it's really important for people to see those role models just to know that they can get there. If you never see anyone like you doing um, what you want to do, you begin to wonder if it's really the place for you to go. Inspiring and celebrating Black Canadians in STEM as they did on Wednesday, hosting their first Black Excellence in STEM Awards conference, where researchers shared their work. A familiar face was in attendance. You're helping to level the playing field and inspire a new generation. You're helping change the face of science in Canada, making it more inclusive and bringing your talent and experiences to your disciplines. When I was the age of some of the students in the audience, we, we could not have had a conference like this. And to have you here is really incredibly meaningful. Opening the door for Canada's black scientists all around the world and holding that door open for others behind them, including newcomers who can face barriers when continuing in their fields in Canada. Our goal ultimately uh, is to change the science ecosystem in Canada so that anyone with the talent, the ability and the interest can contribute to our overall uh, innovation and productivity as a nation. Now, when the group first launched back in 2020, they started with 24 members. Now, they haven't been able to meet face to face because of the pandemic, but that has not stopped them from growing. They are now sitting at over 500 members in Toronto. I'm Faiza Mean for City News.